Dirty um, Murph. Dirty Murph. Dirty Murph. Wow. You know, everything old is new again. Um, <laughs> you know, um, I think with the single stream Murph, there's a, a lot of concern, you know, about the quality of the material that um, you're getting out of there. Um, I think Dirty Murphs just exacerbate that problem. Um, I think the amount of material go that will end up in the landfill is going to be larger than they're going to expect. I think there are two things in the concept of, of Dirty Murph. What you can measure and accomplish today in diverting from a landfill, and they may have crunched numbers and show that it, uh, they can do a lot more than they had been doing. But if you vision it going forward and you're mixing your miscellaneous solid waste, which was headed to the landfill, with the common recyclables, it really diminishes the incentive to work more on the material that isn't readily recyclable. And so I think looking down the road and having some vision for your going uh, would lend itself not to mixing what's going to the landfill with your common recyclables in a dirty MRF sort of process. I, I think it just brings up the whole issue of um, contamination. You know, I read one time that Japan had 27 separate bins, and of course, you know, that would be ridiculous for us to um, try and expect our public to adopt something that intensive. But um, to reduce it down to a single bin, I think, is the other extreme, and um, it's not really going to provide as much benefit as people might expect. Well, um, I was very interested to read about the return, you know, of, of the Dirty Murph idea. Um, there, I mean, my understanding of its um, its history and and experience in Chicago was that it was it was a disaster and moreover it was very hazardous uh, in terms of working conditions for people in working in the MRF. Um, so I was I and I I had been under the impression that this approach had been for reasons that we brought up pretty much discredited and, it, and I was surprised to see it returning um, and I think that it may be th these these types of approaches um, may be being advanced as we are grappling throughout North America with the possibility of limits to um, diversion under existing uh, forms of recycling of source separated recycling and and what I mean by that is um, from very different perspectives, the idea of doing some uh, post-collection separation is coming out of the woodwork. Dirty Murph is one example. Um, in waste energy, both traditional and um, new and emerging technologies, there's heavy emphasis on pulling out recyclables um, after materials are delivered to uh, waste energy plants. And even within the zero waste movement, there there's recently been a report that was issued um, uh, talking about how to treat leftovers, as what they're calling residues, and advocating um, after you've had source separated recycling and composting, still pulling out uh, recyclables and, and possibly compostables from uh, from residue which then would go through a mechanical biological treatment process so what I see I mean this is and I'd be interested to hear what others are saying is that um, in different ways um, both um, waste management um, companies and and localities are thinking about again about the idea of pulling recyclables out of mixed waste I think it's a good idea to pull recyclables out of the mixed waste, but I also think before that's done, there should be an opportunity to have high quality recycling done. Uh, once you mix everything, the quality of recyclables is impacted a lot. Uh, but even in the, the regular solid waste stream after recycling, there's still a lot of value in that material that can be extracted uh, before it goes to its ultimate disposal. So GBV is the consultant that Houston has retained to help them evaluate uh, this project for their city. 
um, and we're really excited to do that analysis for them and help them figure out if it's going to be the right solution uh, for what they want to do. Um, in my previous experience working for a municipality, I am aware that it's something that, especially in uh, areas where the recycling rate is pretty high, um, people are wondering, you know, are we, is this, is this the thing and we're not seeing it coming or, or what's really going on? I think it's something that people like, like you other commenters said, are really thinking a lot about um, the service, pro service sector has been promoting it to a lot of clients, a lot of cities and counties as a solution, um, but it, I think that there's still a lot of evaluation and analysis to be done, and this Houston project is going to be a big information point for a lot of the country.